When I first saw this quartz crystal, I thought we were looking at material from Steinkopf in South Africa, but in actual fact, on closer inspection, I found that there's little needles of tourmaline sitting on here, which I expect to be a foitite tourmaline. Also, there's some, uh, maybe a dusting of feldspar, maybe traces of highlight or opal in as well, uh, especially in this section. I think if you zoom into the still pictures, let's see if we can have a closer look. Might be feldspar. And then, quite interesting, this crystal form over here. Self-healing having taken place under the armpit of this crystal. And it costs like that. There you see that little, almost a wing jutting off the main crystal. Underlying color is almost a milky to, to almost a grayishness. Also quite interesting is this formation of, if I didn't know better, I'd actually think we're looking at siderite here, which hasn't, from this particular deposit, which would be the Eronga and Namibia, typically the siderite gets replaced by the girthite. In this case, it's still pretty unexposed uh, or, 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 or protected or hasn't been a, a, a victim to oxidation. Could, of course, also be feldspar, variety of feldspar being a whole family as such. Quite lovely. Can be displayed all the way around. Of course, we'd need a stand. And there you see, uh, in between those little needles, those are little, I, I suspect we're looking at albite tourmaline, which would be multicolored tourmalines. So I want to show you the angle, this armpit crystal over here, which I find quite appealing. Across there. There we go crystallization and it's jutting like a wing off the side of this crystal and this lovely formation of the you can almost see a bent bent formation of this is why i'm thinking in terms of siderite of bent almost like bent calcite crystals